Good morning, teacher. Hi. Who is this? Hi, teacher. Mr. Tanti coming. Mr. Tanti? Yes. Hi. Wow, what a big day. This is awesome. <laughs> Hi, good to see you. Yes. Where are you now? Uh, I'm great to see. Yeah, where are you? Uh, I'm here at Faculty of Education. Oh, <laughs> when yes. did you arrive? When did uh, you yesterday. I... Okay, wow. <laughs> yesterday. That's awesome. Wow, it's a big class today. I'm so happy. Everyone. Tanti. Yeah. This year you stay in the dormitory or somewhere else? Yes, I live in the dormitory. So now, now will you guys start to come back to Luangkabang? Like, do you think that maybe we will start in person soon? I don't know. Not yet, teacher. Not yet? Okay. Yes. Mr. Kaplan, is he? Okay, Mr. Kaplan is building something. Wow, this is an exciting day. I'm so happy to see everyone. Welcome. Great. Today's lesson is not too, not too complicated. Not too complicated. So it should be easy. Okay, so today is Tuesday, December 7th. So welcome to class, everyone. Today is Tuesday, December 7th. All right, so what's gonna happen today is I'm gonna start by showing you some different PowerPoint slides. And I want you to tell me which one is better, okay? So I will show you a one and then a two, and you will tell me which one you think is better. All right, so here's the first one. Here's the first PowerPoint slide. Okay, number one. It has maybe um Miss Cece DePet, could you read this PowerPoint slide? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Myself introduction. Hi, I am Billion. Um but, yeah, <laughs> it's hard to do. Sorry, yeah, it's my family name. <laughs> mm -hmm. But my long name is Kai Mok. I'm 25 years old. Today, I'm going to tell you about my hometown and my hobbies. Thank you, Ms. Cece DePet. Okay, so that's my first PowerPoint slide. So that's number one. Let's look at number two. Let's look at number two. Um, Ms. Con, could you read this one? Yes. Hi, I'm Billy and thank you, Ms. Cohn. Okay, so this is PowerPoint slide yes. number two. So could I see everyone? Could you hold up your fingers and vote if you like this one or this one better? All right. So one or two. All right, let's see. One or two. One or two. I see some people with two. Pamali says one. Okay. Okay, good thoughts. A lot of people say one. Okay, why do you say one? Can someone tell me why? Okay, I would say I yeah. choose one because you put your uh, information is quite clear, not only saying only your name, but you say 
you introduce yourself, like your name, your age. Okay. Yes. Great. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Ms. Bumali. What about Mr. Bunmi? Can you tell me why do you pick number two? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, I think because uh, the picture and the content is very clear. Yeah, okay, great. Great answers, guys. Thank you. So this could be where maybe we have a little bit of difference in what we like. For me, I pick... Oh, sorry. One second. For me, I pick number two. For me, I pick number two because... It's more interesting to look at. Okay, so to me, it looks a little more interesting. But when I am using this slide show, I would say all of this information. I would say, hi, my name is Bailey Ann Corbin, but my Lao name is Kai Mook. I'm 25 years old, and today I'm going to tell you about, I would say all of these things while this slideshow is present, but I just have the main point, oops, I just have the main point written on the PowerPoint slide. So for me, I think it's better because I don't write everything I'm going to say, but this could be where we have some difference, right? This could be where maybe Lao style is to write exactly what you're going to say. So that's what I need to learn. So yeah, thank you guys for voting. All right, let's look at the next PowerPoint slide. Okay, this is the next one. Look at this picture. And I have to go close my door. Rich enrichment, enrichment English vocabulary. So what word family technique? among the six year students at Park. Great, thank uh, you. Secondary school. Yeah, thank Park. you, Mr. County, for reading. Um, yeah, so. Yeah. Economic gear, which is. Auntie, bit my day. Great job, no, thanks for reading. Um, so yeah, this is the first one. So this is number one. All right, so yes. you looked at it. You looked at it a lot. Now let's look at number two. Let's look at number two. It's the same information, but just a little bit differently. Just a little bit differently. Okay, which one do you prefer? And remember, there's no wrong answer. I'm trying to learn more about Lao style. Okay, which one do you like better? One or two? You can begin in the chat, it's fine. Yeah, in the chat, some people say two. We'll say two. All right. Does anyone say one? Maybe, yeah, Mr. Tanti, is that you that said one? Great, can someone tell me why they picked number two? Maybe, um, maybe Ms. Sambai, could you tell me why you picked number two? Um, for me, because it is more interesting. Okay, great. Thank you, Miss Sunbai. Um, and then, whoops. Um, did anyone like one, Mr. Tanti? Did you like one? Uh, I think that uh, enrich, enrich English vocabulary is uh, inter, interesting uh, about this. Some people to uh, learn and to study. Great, thanks so much, Mr. Tanti. Okay, so thanks guys. Let's look at the next one. 
All right, here's number one. Here is number one, the presentation outline. And here's number two. Here's number two, kind of similar. But let's look again at number one. And then let's look again at number two, number two. All right, send your vote in the chat. Send your vote in the chat. Number one or number two? Number one or number two? Okay. Miss Sapenpet, can you tell me why did you pick number two? Uh, because I think number two is easy to read. Yeah, great. Thanks, Ms. Sovereign Pet. Can anyone else give me another reason? One more reason? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Uh, I think I choose number two because uh, they, they organize the topic is clear and understand and understand Chile and the people the people can can see and they they don't complicate okay then, yeah. yeah thank you yeah, great thanks Ms. Yue and Ms. Sop and Pet yeah and maybe not complicated great okay now let's look at another one let's look at one more so this is number one this is number one Okay, and then this is number two. This is number two. So number one and number two. All right, let's send our votes in the chat now. Number one is this one. Number two is this one. number one and then number two oops okay number one and then number two okay so maybe mr adani could you tell me why you picked number one and then Ms. Okay. Ms. Latavieng, you will tell us why you picked number two. Great. Mr. Ernie? Yeah, uh, number one, I think is uh, clear because uh, I have even seen every year uh, for four years to, uh, to uh, yeah, for four years to number. <laughs> to present their report in university, right? Yeah. I think I choose number one. Okay, yeah. great point, Mr. Ernani, thank you. So you've seen every year students present their reports, correct? So you've seen every year students present their reports and every year they look like this. Is that what you're saying, Mr. Ernani? Yeah. Okay, great point. So every year he sees and they look like this. So he will choose this one. Thank you, Mr. Arani. Okay, what about number two? Ms. Latavian, could you tell us why you picked number two? Yes, uh, I choose number two because it is clear, easy to read, easy to see and have bullet. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. has bullet points. Thank you, Ms. Latavian. Yeah, so she says it's clear and it has bullet points. And so it's easy to read. Okay, great point. Thanks, guys. And finally, let's go to this one one more time. All right, here's number one. Here is number one. And then here is number two. Okay, so number one. Number two. All right, let's send our votes in the chat now. Number one. 
Number two. Okay, how about maybe Mr. Tung Kao can tell us why he chose number one and um, Mr. Let's see who chose number two. Mr. Aoni can can tell us why he chose number two or maybe Mr. Boonmi. Yeah, Mr. Boonmi, you haven't gone. Yeah, okay, so Mr. Tung Kao. Why did you choose number one? Okay, I think I think the presentation finished. I can say thanks for listening. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Thank you. Great. Right, thanks, Mr. Tongao. And then, um, Mr. Boonmi, why did you pick number two? Yeah, teacher. Yeah, because sure. Uh, after we have finished uh, our presentation, we have to share. I hope to get to know you too. It mean uh, when when we are finished, we we need to know uh, another person or another people like mm -hmm. this. Yeah, and then we we say uh, thank for listening. Finally, yes. Hey, thank you, Mr. Boonmi. Yeah. Okay. Great reasons. All right, so let's talk for a moment before we continue, okay? Some things to me look better than others, but I really think it's a good point what Mr. Edoni said. Every year he sees the year fours do their presentation and they look a certain way, right? There's a certain way that's normal. So for me, I think that, I'll show you. For me, I think that number one or number two, I would pick number two every time because for me, I think it's better to have just the key points and not all of the words because if I look at this, PowerPoint presentation. I'm not going to read it all. It's too much, right? It's it's too much and maybe it's distracting. Okay. So I would pick this one. But if there is a normal way for the presentations um, in year four that you have to do, I want you to do that way. Okay. So does that make sense? This is why I want to always be having a conversation and asking questions because I want you to do the best way for your final presentation, okay? So in this class, we are learning how to present and I will help you with new techniques, but it's all to help you ultimately with your final presentation, okay? So I want to help you as much as I can to give a great final presentation. Okay, so now that we've talked about that, um, let's see. All right, now we will begin a small fill in the blank. Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to change from a bad slide to a good slide. Yeah. Okay, can you fill in the blank? Maybe um, Ms. Chen Lar, can you read this, this sentence for me? Uh, put what pro progress paragraph in your PowerPoint only the keyword. Great, thank you, Ms. Chen Lar. What do you think should fill in this blank, okay? What do you think? Blank put whole paragraphs in your PowerPoint, only the key words. Okay, who has an idea? Can someone tell me what they think goes right here? Question mark, that's a question mark. All right. 
So for me, I would say, I would say don't, okay? Don't put whole paragraphs in your PowerPoint, only the key words, okay? My style, yeah. I think this is better, but let's talk. Can I see, what do you think about putting whole paragraphs in your presentation? Um, if you think it's good to do, can you tell me why? Does anyone have? I want to know because I need to learn about this new style. Yeah. Yeah, for me, I think yes, teacher, because okay. we uh, cannot remember all the information, right? Right. And we must to put all, and when we present, we have to look at also. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Aoni. Yeah, any more reasons? <clears throat> uh, so, so I think uh, that uh, we uh, we don't know the uh, information and then the keyword, and so we we don't put the any. Okay, great, thank you. Yeah, any. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think no. Uh, it the uh, PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. If you write the whole paragraph, like the that's all information, maybe make the uh, listener like uh, crazy, and they like yep, and they crazy and they don't focus your your topic or your information. Maybe I think if you can write a short paragraph but have the big meaning, I think it's really really nice and very big. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Ms. Dua. Yeah, any other any other points? <clears throat> so um, can I have your question? Hey, okay, yeah. Um my question was, what do you think? Don't put paragraphs in your PowerPoint or do put paragraphs in your PowerPoint. Okay. Yes, I in my opinion, I think we um, should put the keyword only because if you put on the paragraph, that means you read something to the audience. So if you put the only the keyword, that means you present something the, to the audience, not only read something to the audience. So that means you take deeper understanding about your final topic, not only read something to them. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Jackie. Great. Yeah, and I think someone else maybe was trying to go. Maybe was it Miss Cece to put? Yeah, it's me. Okay. Yeah, for me, I think that I uh, agree with Mr. Jackie. Yeah, but uh, I would say one more thing that we put keyword is more interesting. So if we put all of the uh, information in our paragraph, uh, in our PowerPoint, I think that is more like when we present. It make the uh, listener bored. Yeah, and also sometimes like make uh, us serious when we are uh, present, but something like we forgot it and it's hard to find the keyword to look. Yeah, okay, actually great point. Yeah, thank you, Miss Cece the Pet. I would say I agree because if I'm reading here, I'm reading and we get to this sentence. Many people use English and I look at the audience and look back. Okay, maybe I can find, but what if I get to right here? I look at the audience and when I look back, I have to, oh, where did I stop? Where did I stop? And then I have to read in my head. Oh, here, here it is. And then start again, start again, then look at the audience and then search. Where did I stop? Yeah, I think sometimes it's kind of hard to do. But I do think Mr. Oni has a good point. It makes it like you are able to like have all, you know, you know you will not forget any information because it's all right here. 
Okay, so I think it's just different styles and different ways to do things. Um, in my class now, we're gonna learn a little more about this style, okay? This style, I think too, as long as you practice your presentations many times and you are confident that you know the knowledge, that you know the information in your final report, you should be okay. You know, like you should, because you are the expert in what you researched. And so you should know most of the information. I think you could do. But for now, in my class, I, we will say, don't put whole paragraphs in your PowerPoint, only the key words. Okay, don't put whole paragraphs in your PowerPoint, only the key words. All right, how to choose keywords. This is what I want us to look at today because it is important that you choose the correct keywords. So um, maybe Ms. Sambai, could you read this sentence for us? Yes. How to use keywords. Um, um, do you want to, to know uh, what I said? Yeah, you, can say, you can just say blank your brainstorming map. Okay. Blank your brainstorm, brainstorming map and your notes card. Okay, great. Yeah, so look at your brainstorming map and your note cards. All right, this is the first, first point I would say. Before you begin, just go ahead and look at your brainstorming map and your note cards. All right, so this is the first step in choosing key words. Okay, for each paragraph, blank what you think is the most important sentence. Anyone have a guess what this blank could be? For each paragraph, blank what you think is the most important sentence. Okay. In point of time. Yeah, find. For each paragraph, find what you think is the most important sentence. Yeah, thanks guys. Okay. For the most important sentences, blank what you think is the most important phrase in that sentence. Okay, who knows what this blank is? It is keyword or not? Yeah, it's actually find again. <laughs> find. Oh, find. Yeah. So, Miss Coin, could you read this sentence for me again? Yes, of course. For the most important sentence, find what you think is the most important phrase in that sentence. One, three, two, six words. Thanks, Ms. Kwan. Yeah, so we have the most important sentence. Now we want to find the most important phrase in the sentence. So that's only three to six words. Okay. All right, in the key phrases, blank unimportant words. All right, so within the key phrase, we blank unimportant words. We delete unimportant words. Um, Ms. Chenlar, could you read this sentence one more time? Okay. In the keyword process, the delay is important word. Yeah, make sure you say un. Un important. Un right, thank you, Ms. Chandler. That just means the words that are not important. Words that are not important are words like articles. So a, an, the, like in this sentence, 
can just take out in the all right the word verb to be so is or are that's an unimportant small word and other unimportant small words like that okay so just make sure to erase all the unimportant small words or delete all right and finally finally blank those phrases on your powerpoint in the same order as the presentation okay who can guess blank those phrases on your PowerPoint in the same order as the presentation. Okay, so that is put. <laughs> Maybe Miss Pomaly, could you read this sentence? Okay, put those phrases on your PowerPoint in the same order as the presentation. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Miss Pomaly. So once we have the keywords that are most important and we've taken out all the unimportant words, we put those phrases on our PowerPoint and you put them on your PowerPoint in the same order as the presentation. Great. Okay. Thank you guys so much um, for coming today. I'm so happy to see Mr. Ampai, Mr. Tanti, um, and Mr. Bunsuai. Good to see you guys. I miss you all <laughs> very much. Um, yeah. Yeah. They are in here today. Yeah, it's so good. Um, but yeah, so again, we're both learning. And I want to make sure that the style we learn is a good style for you. Um, but yeah, today we learned a little bit about keywords. Your homework will be to watch again. I will post this video again, and I want you to fill in the blanks on your notebook, okay? I'll post some more instructions. But thank you guys so much for coming to class today. Great job, and have a great rest of your day. Bye. Thank you, Thanks, Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Good luck with your whatever you're doing. Uh, uh, teacher, uh, next time we will learn uh, how to make PowerPoint. Yeah. Yeah, we will. And, yeah, and put uh, some information in PowerPoint, right? Mm -hmm. About, yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah, totally. We'll learn step by step. Slowly, but yeah. in a good way. Okay. Great. Right. Sure. See you guys. Bye.